Welcome back to Fox Sports Overtime. Thank you for joining us. This is our first show of the summer. We just wanted to put something together for you guys so you can get a sneak preview of what you'll be getting as we move along into the summer months. As you know, NBA will be over. NHL will be over. We have baseball and a few events in between, but we'll find a way to spice it up for all you sports fans. And one of the things that will be coming up this summer is the NBA Summer League, which will feature one of the most talked about talents from college basketball, which is Lonzo Ball. And I'm pretty sure his father, LeVar Ball, will be courtside and within earshot. So we have to touch on this subject. I have my thoughts, but I want to hear what are your thoughts on LeVar Ball, the big baller brand, and just him as an overall character in sports right now. He's playing it right in a, in a weird way, only because... As we all know, the more controversial you are, the more people are going to talk about you, right? It's just a given. It's given for media. It's, it's given for press. It's given for, uh, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. There is no bad press. It, that's the reality of it. So he has definitely found a way to make himself a villain to a lot of people. Some people praise him for his whole uh, little antics. I'm going to be honest with you, if I was his sons, I would be like, shut up. Like, this is, you're going to ruin my career if you keep on with your ridiculousness. Um, I do feel like he is a bit of a stage mom, as if they were on a pageant stage, essentially. I mean, that's not to take away from the talent that his sons have, but I mean, some of the stuff he says is just so ridiculous. Like, let's be honest, his sons are really talented, but to kind of demand or expect $1 billion for a trio deal is a, is a little, it's not a little, it, it is really ridiculous. It's almost comical because, you know, even though they are talented, they have yet to prove in themselves in the NBA. And we all know that just because you are successful in the college game doesn't always equate the same way in the professional level. Will he probably be successful? Yeah, there's a good chance, but that's not always a guarantee. So to kind of be like, ah, you know, I want to look for a billion dollar deal. And then he goes, well, we'll take a, you know, a hundred million dollars a year to start or whatever, you know, it, it's like, excuse me, what are you saying? <laughs> you know, but I think, <laughs> and I like have to laugh because I was watching an interview with his dad and you just look at him and you're like, God, this guy is like, I mean, with this whole brand, it's charging. I, okay, listen, you got big balls, or literally big balls. He's a big baller. <laughs> He's a big baller to charge, what is it? $500, $495. It's like, you're not at that level yet. But it, but people still bought the shoes. I mean, not he'll never give the exact number that was sold. You know, there was just like some estimates. But of course, he got really touchy when, when asked, you know, how many people you know, bought it, bought the shoes and whatever. But it, it's, it's just, it's like, wow, you got big balls. I mean, you're going against like, you know, Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, all these big companies. And then you, you just, you're like, no, I'm, I'm going to charge $500 for my shoes. It's like, I, I just, some of the stuff that comes out of his mouth is so outlandish. You just have to wonder what goes on in his mind. And, but again, like I said, He's playing it right because we're sitting here talking about him, just like everybody else is talking about him. The unfortunate part is it does take away from the actual talent that his children have. I mean, his children are very, very talented players. I mean, that is, I mean, he, he whether people want to say he was hard on them and listen, if you want to raise an athlete, you have to motivate them. And, and motivation sometimes is like, hey, when they don't want to get out of bed to play sports, you kind of have to push them. And I'm not necessarily against that. And you call me a tiger mom or whatever, but I kind of feel that way too, you know? But I I would have to say that his antics are a little much for his children. If I was I were them, I'd be upset. But at the same time, he knows what he's doing with, with the fact that people talk about him all the time. And, and they will continue to talk about him, especially as his, you know, son goes to the um, to the draft, and and you know, I mean, he, he's going to be in everybody's. Every, that's that's pe that's who people want to talk about. They want to know where Lonzo's going, how he's going to play, and of course, his dad is going to be front and center with this whole thing. So he, he's doing the right thing, I guess.
All right, so here's what I want people to do. You have to look at LeVar Ball from different angles, right? First is the Don King angle. This guy reminds me of how Don King used to promote Mike Tyson. Remember Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson used to be quiet and let Don King do all the talking. So LeVar Ball is doing all the talking and, and Lonzo is sitting in the back. This is by design, right? The statements that he is making to get this publicity and attention, if you had to pay a PR company a budget to get you on all of these sports channels, to get you all of these write-ups on blogs and newspapers, you'd be paying a quarter of a million dollars. He's doing it for free. Or more. Yeah, or more. You know how this goes. Or more. Because he's he's he has on FS1, when LeVar Ball goes on Fox Sports 1, they have the highest ratings that they've had ever, ever. Colin Coward, highest ratings with LeVar Ball. Uh, Skip and Shannon, undisputed, highest ratings ever. So this guy is printing money for other companies. He knows this, he's aware of this. And he just wants to print some money for himself. Now, granted, we talk about the price, $495. It costs him about $225 to make each pair of shoes right each pair of shoes so he has to because he's a small startup company he has to charge a high um a high um retail price because he because he doesn't have a manufacturer exactly to back him for that x amount of pairs because they don't have those type of orders because it's just it's the whole thing is a little outlandish obviously they would have been backed by a big company but right, but but whatever. but you want to know you want to know what's funny him and it, he and his three sons are probably in the garage making those shoes right now I know. the orders I know. that they grandpa and grandpa and everybody in the grandma grandpa and the mom the every and, uh, <laughs> and the putting together the shoes as we speak but again like I agree with you there is no amount of I mean that he would have spent so much money just trying to get the type of price that he gets and he really does get a lot of good ratings because I'm going to be honest I tune in whenever he's on shows just because I want to see the ridiculous crap that comes out of his mouth sometimes uh, because it's it's great to talk about it's just great TV it's great news and it's you know uh, you it's always like you tune into shows and, and whatnot because you always want to see what the quote bad guy has to say about about whatever's going on um, because it's interesting and and he says what people wouldn't say you know like I, I you know I, I'm better than Jordan or I, I could have done this it's like whoa 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 what are you talking about that's like untouchable territory there like who are you you're not even proven you know so so he, he just like pisses off people and offends people because you know we got diehard fans that are like insanely loyal to these players and so you get this what people consider just some D-bag just, you know, coming off and just making these statements and they're like, wait, wait a minute, what are you talking about? So I think um, he's playing his cards right because everybody talks about him. What the question is, is how will this affect his, well, Lonzo, we'll use Lonzo first, uh, you know, as he moves forward in his career. Uh, will owners want to deal with his dad? Will, will sponsors and, and endorsements and how will this play out uh, this next year that that's how we really see how successful his plan is now of course with Don King and Mike Tyson Mike Tyson was so talented that you just had to you had to deal with Don King because everybody wanted to see Mike Tyson fight now if Lonzo doesn't prove himself to the next level like emphatically prove himself to the next level I think there, the shit talk is gonna be insane but now what my question to you is what if he does? I think the success of the brand, the baller brand and everything will be insane. So it, it, it's a big risk, big reward kind of thing. You know, like let's take this this really risky way of promoting uh, my son's, you know, playing basketball, but at the same time, you could you could be like one of those people where you get in a I wouldn't say blackballed, but you know, companies don't want to deal with you because they're like, God, your dad is so freaking crazy. You know, you get a lot of that. But Lonzo's got to prove himself on that stage, which I think he will. I, I don't necessarily doubt it. Um, and I think if he does really do successful, you know, play successfully, then I, I think their brands, their dad's way of thinking and the mentality and all that stuff is just secondary. All right. Well, there you have it. Thank you for listening to 
the preview edition of Fox Sports Overtime with Ava Fiore and Champ Creed. At the end of the show, you'll be able to find us. But tell all the listeners where they can find you on social media. Okay, I, my IG is at Cleats and Cleavage. My Twitter is at Cleats Cleavage. No and. And then my Snapchat is at Ava Fjord. All right, and you can find me, Champ Creed, on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Champ Creed. See, I kept it all the same all the way through. Yeah. We'll see you were you were like I I don't know why yeah, I'm not sure I, why I, I went to the Laval Ball <laughs> School of Marketing. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. All right, folks, we'll be seeing you this summer. Hope you enjoyed the show.